my name is Terry Sproul and I'd like to welcome you to my studio. I'm going to start a mini-series on altered books. This is a chance for you crafters and artists to just have fun because there are no rules. The basics though are is getting a nice good book. I get mine at uh, garage sales, at the library sales, you know, I don't spend money on these books, like 10 cents. This is a nice hardback book with lots of pages in it. And I'm going to do a whole series on purple, so I got a purple book. So you don't have to do that because sometimes you can just cover the whole thing, you'll never even see the cover. First thing you need to do though is actually thin the book out because you're going to do so much stuff in here that's 3D and that kind of stuff. You need to have the book thinner. So I go through the book and I tear out a few pages here and there. I'll go through, tear out a couple pages here. Go, uh, you know, a couple more pages over, pull those out. By the time I'm done, I've pulled out about, as you can see here, maybe a good third of the book. Looks kind of funny right now, but don't worry about it. It won't look like that later. Don't throw these away. We can still use those in a future date. A couple things that you need to have that I think is important. One is gesso. Gesso is like primer. It'll take your paper completely white, or in this case, this is black gesso, completely black. You can get this at your local craft store. Also a gel medium. This is a adhesive and it helps to glue your pages together, glue stuff down. It's a really great product and again, you can get this at the craft store. From there, it's just up, oh, well, this is important too. I think getting yourself a small self-healing mat that can fit inside the book so when you're doing niches and stuff, it can go behind it very easily instead of a large mat like I have on the background here. Um, craft knife, scissors, from there, you know, you can just have fun. Ink pads, stamps, your mask pen, of course, will come in handy. A good paintbrush because you're going to use a lot of um, paint brushing for different techniques we're going to use and also to put the gel medium and the gesso on you'll use a paintbrush. So we're going to continue to do more series on an altered book. So come back and see these series and by the time we're done we'll have finished an altered book. Thanks for joining me here in my studio.